All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Shorty Index. And we're back with another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Today, we're going to be talking about domination. Now, normally I play an intro here, but we're working on it. I took you guys' advice off of the last video where I asked you guys what you guys thought of the intro. You guys gave me some suggestions, so I'm currently implementing them. I'll have it ready to go for next video, and you guys can let me know what you think about it then. We're going to be talking about domination. A lot of the times down in the comments, you guys tell me to go play domination because it is an objective-based game mode. People are going to move a lot more. Now, I understand the logic and the theory behind what you said is factual. And in the most part, you're going to have games that are going to be like that. But for the most part, the games are going to be exactly what you're seeing here. I'm always up front with you guys. This will be a negative KD game. But... It is a domination game, so KD doesn't matter. Or does it? Now, you guys kept telling me to come over to domination, give it a shot, and I kept telling you guys that I don't really play domination, and there's a couple reasons why, so I would just figured I'd make a video about it so that I can just reference the video in future comments telling me to come play it. There's a few reasons why I do not like to go play domination on my own. Remember, all the gameplays you guys pretty much see are solo. That's why you guys never see, like, the highlighted names inside of the chat. I'm always by myself. And if you're trying to play a domination game mode by yourself, it's not really going to work. Oh, but I play it all the time by myself, Shorty. It's fine. Granted, everyone's going to have their own styles and their own wants, needs, and they're going to have their own fun experiences. Some people are going to love Domination and hate TDM. Other people are going to love Hardpoint and hate Domination. For me, Domination isn't a hate thing. I don't hate it. It's what I throw on when I just kind of need to change a pace. But there's a few reasons in this current state of Modern Warfare 3 that really turned me off from playing Domination. Let's go over those briefly. First... They made the capture zones ridiculously small, so it just becomes grenade spam the entire time. You pretty much gotta put the flag right up your own butthole if you wanna capture the point. It is very infuriating because you used to be able to hide behind cover, but a lot of these flags now are just kind of out in the open and you have nowhere to go. And if you kind of wiggle around too much, you're going to get shot from any of the multiple angles that look at the flags. But also, you can easily end up off the flag just simply by going a little bit to the left, right, or maybe just walking two steps forward. So in this year's iteration, the capture points for me are just way, way too small. You should have ample cover to be able to capture the flag. That way you can move around and base where you are based off of where the enemies are. In this game, you have to literally sit right on the flag so the enemy know where you are but you don't know where they are can the flags be captured obviously but it's super annoying which brings me to my second problem since the modern day of gaming the skin grind kind of doesn't do it for me anymore i actually made a youtube channel a couple years back in 2019 when call of duty 2019 came out and one of the first videos i posted on there was people using the skin camo grind as their excuse to sit in a corner there's nothing more infuriating than when you finish a match of domination which is longer games by the way and somebody has one capture, which means they literally went to the neutral flag at the beginning and then did not capture for the rest of the game, which you will see examples of that at the end of this game. As somebody who likes to play games based off of the rules that are set forth, it really irritates me when I lose a game because I'm the only one that's capturing the flag. Like I said, this is going to be a negative KD game, but KD doesn't matter in objective-based gameplay. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Your captures should matter, and I'll have the most captures in the game. Why? Because when I see an objective, that's my point in the game. It's like people who play search and destroy but never plant the bomb. Or play hard point and have zero point in like seconds on the hard point. Like they didn't even get a second. There's no point in playing an objective-based game mode if nobody's actually going to play the objective. At that point, it just becomes TDM that's longer. And it, it was always the skin camo grinders that always said it was their excuse. But at the end of a life cycle of a game like in 2019 when I made my video, there's no point to be grinding skins at that point. The new one came out in like a month. And there's no point to be grinding skins in this one because all the camos suck because they just want you to go pay for them in the, the uh, item shop. And the third reason that I don't really play Domination is it's just too much. There's just too much going on. It's so easy to get frustrated in Domination because you're trying to capture points and you can't capture points because nobody's moving. Your team's not capturing points because they don't want to die. And then you just get frustrated. You can sit there and beg your teammates to do it. But like you guys said down in the comments, you'll say, hey, can we get the objective? They'll tell you, I don't care. I'm doing my camel grinds. I need long shots. I have to do prone shots. Which brings me to the final and third point, or fourth point, I guess. The literal game has hindered people from playing the objective. There's no reward to actually playing the objective. What is my reward to playing the objective? Well, I got a negative KD. I died a whole bunch of times. And it was just boring. I wouldn't say boring. Maybe we say it wasn't fun. It's not fun to die over and over again while you try to capture the objective. But then you're seeing other people just standing still nowhere near the objective. Or running past the objective as it's being captured because they just want to go get to their camping spot. It's easy to get frustrated. Now, I want to flip the coin here. Domination is 100% a ton of fun when you have a couple people to play with. Pretty much, we only play, when I play squads, is Domination and TDM. 
sometimes we throw in some search and destroy because there's nothing like it's like a mini battle royale man when it's just you versus like five it's insane and when you pop off oh the search and destroy is good but as yet again you need a team and that's where i'm at with domination domination is fun if you have at least two other friends why do i say exactly two because you can have your friends watch two different angles right when you're looking one way your friend can look the other way while you capture the flag while your third friend overlooks the entire area for you three people working together in a domination game can easily turn the tides of a domination game it can definitely work to the advantage because then you have three people capturing the flag which makes it faster playing as a solo and getting nine captures inside of terminal here most of the time i'm by myself nobody's capturing it with me and what it makes it more frustrating is that you'll have spawns that are broken when you have multiple people on your team though you can work together to cover different angles so you don't notice that as much playing domination as a solo i will give you guys it moves a little bit differently but it also plays a lot differently you have more people covering the flags which is you know it's acceptable it's it's literally the point of the game but it becomes very fastly stale if your team's holding down two flags then the other team's not going to move they're eventually just going to give up trying to push through and then if your team's getting the ones that are getting screwed you're going to give up you're going to be the ones that give up it's very hard to turn the tides of battle if your team's not going to work with you and that's why we don't play domination a lot i know a lot of you guys are saying down in the comments that we should play domination so we can get, get higher kill games it's a lot faster but it's arguably a lot slower and it's not nearly as fun i would rather play like a game mode like uh capture the flag would be a good one back from like world War world at war that's more fun because both teams have to move you have to cover you have to take advantage of everything in the lobby but for some reason call of duty got rid of it when it comes to objective based game modes in the current state of call of duty they're they're pointless the, the, the game doesn't move well enough they don't players don't travel well enough nothing's happening in the game yet everybody's like trying to say they're playing the objective now i want to just cover the one last point before the end of this video if you get into a game where both teams like we already have a gameplay on our channel are capturing the flag and is doing what domination should do some of the funnest games you'll ever have are in domination it's probably also the only other game mode where your kill streaks actually matter Search and Destroy used to be like that. You could bank up your kill streaks, call them in at the beginning of a round and have a win round. But now they have this whole like delay on everything and it's pointless at this point. So Domination is really the only place where it's left off. I know some of you guys are going to say it's really important in Hardpoint, but Hardpoint is just pure chaos. I don't even go near Hardpoint. But in Domination, if you have a team that's working really well and another team that's working really well and you guys are actually doing the Domination push and pull, what I mean by that is like you got A, they got C, and then you guys are both fighting over B and B is the dominant position, that is some of the most fun you'll ever have in a Call of Duty game. Now, I'm sure if I played enough Domination, I'd get a lot of those games, but it's hard as a solo player. Maybe we'll play some Domination this weekend when I'm trying to get some squad play to show you guys how that works. But for the most part, if you get one of those lobbies, man, oh, that is the creme to the creme of the Domination. That's where it's the most fun because people are calling in kill streaks and they're actually making a difference. A person's Predator missile could be the difference between you capturing B and not capturing B. An Overwatch Helo could literally guard a point for you while the rest of your team works towards a different point same with like a sentry gun in domination the score streaks would actually matter and it'd be so much more fun if they would enhance that and really lean into that side of the game stop leaning into this whole like getting kills and like start giving players rewards for capturing points oh surely you can turn it to score base and then you get points based on capturing it that's a terrible system it, it was fine in cold war but it, it doesn't work now we need objective based score streaks if I capture nine flags in the game, my rewards should be a lot more than you captured nine flags in a game. I don't care if it's all support based for capturing flags and you, they continue past when you die. Meaning if I cap two flags in one life and I cap two flags in another life, four flags, I get to get a UAV. It's just given to you. It's separate to all your other kill streaks. And then I can use the, my capturing of the flags to help support my team. Capture nine flags, get a VTOL or whatever it is. That, the one that gives you a little advanced UAV. Whew, that was a hard one. And then you can use flags to help promote your team. You can use that to help make players want to get the flag because then they can call in their stuff. And then if they are score based, they're going to get points based off of that. I do not think that the scores should be objective based and have kill streaks. I think if you're capturing flags and you're getting rewarded for capturing flags, it should 100% just be support based. You know, they could have a whole different score streak objective like a kill streak list where you can select it out of there and you can have a whole bunch of different ones that aren't related to the ones that are already in the game. You know, you could have your standard UAV, advanced UAV, counter UAV. But then you can have some other ones like maybe you get 10, 10 flags captured and everybody on your team gets an armor upgrade like three plates that could turn the tide of a battle maybe at like five everybody on your team gets a recycle on all of their equipment lethals and non-lethals those are all fun things that would really change the tide of battle and really draw people into domination if you could earn kill streaks and objective streaks that would make for a chaotically fun game 
Then on top of it, they need to make it so then the kill streaks do a little bit more, especially in a game like the Domination. When you're playing on these maps that are 90% cover, most of the stuff that's in the air is useless. So you really got to rely on all your ground stuff, which is also useless. But that's a topic for another video. I would love to know what kind of score streaks you guys would want back, kill streaks that you guys would want back. Like dogs? Where did dogs go? Give them back. The RC car, give it back. I know those are both Black Ops kill streaks, but they're the most fun. I love that. And the Ravs or whatever they were, the big balls in Black Ops 3. All these fun kill streaks. They could get rid of all the junky ones and just bring in all the fun ones in a like limited time game mode. Oh my god, could you imagine? None of the kill streaks are tied to the game that they came out in. They just took all everyone's fans' favorites from every single Call of Duty, put it into one play mode, and just called it kill streaks and just go nuts. That would be crazy fun. Oh man. Yeah, see, sometimes my brain just goes off on a tangent, and then I remember I don't work for Activision. I shouldn't give out my ideas for free. If you guys did enjoy the video, then please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'm going to continue to work on the new intro. I like the idea of an intro. It breaks up the beginning clips and then the, the middle clips. So I want to make sure we get one done. Just think it looks cleaner. But you guys thought the old one was like watching Nickelodeon. So I'll figure something out. Until then, have an amazing day, everyone.